Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together this beach inspired macrame floral wall hanging. It was super easy to put together and very relaxing. So let's get to crafting. All right, so I'm going to start with this macrame uh, wall hanging. This is already made. So instead of creating something, I found something that was already done and I really love the, des the design of it. Okay, so this, I got it from Hobby Lobby and it's from their spring shop collection, as you can see here. So what I wanna do is I want to decorate this part of it right here. Now, originally I thought I'd glue things down on it, but then I thought, well, what if I don't want to continue using those colors later and I wanna take it off uh, then I should form something separate and then put it on there, which is going to be super easy to do. I purchased a garland while I was there at Hobby Lobby and I grabbed this because not only do I like the green tone of it, but I love the, the look of the greenery. I feel like it looks kind of like seaweed in a way. And uh, I'm just going to use a piece of this to put on my little wall decor here. So I'm just going to measure from here to here and that's where I'm going to cut my garland. And now I'm going to also cut off this part, I don't need that. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to decorate this and then I can just wire it down onto here. All right, so now that I've got my little garland piece that I need for the uh, wall hanging, uh, I've gone ahead and I've separated these because they were kind of sticking together. Uh, a few little bits uh, did come off, but all I have to do is now uh, just hard glue them back in, but I'll leave those for the end. I have flowers that I have been using for this uh, beach inspired colors, and I'm using very pale uh, pinks. Uh, this is an ivory and then I also had a blue I ran out of the blue flowers so I won't be putting them in in this arrangement at this time but maybe later I can add some in but I do want to use this one big flower now normally I cut things at the very bottom because I like to use the whole length and then trim it as I need it but because I know that I'm not going to need to have that much of a stem I'm just gonna go ahead and cut you know just enough length that I can tie it on or glue it onto the garland but I will also cut, uh, this is where I cut it from, and it has these little kind of eucalyptus, and these can just be pulled off. I am gonna pull these off because I do wanna use those. And then some of the rose uh, leaves, just pull those off, and then we'll use those. And if I need more, I have a little bit more here. Now from these flowers, I am going to go ahead and and I'm not going to use the leaves that it comes with. So I'm just going to cut. I don't know how many I'm going to want. So I'm going to cut two for now. All right, let's do that. And then I also have this little small white flower that I haven't used on anything yet. So I'm going to go ahead and use it in here. So I'm just going to pull off some bits. I'm not going to use the greenery. Let's pull off a couple more. Let's see, there's one. And one more right here. Okay, and I have an extra uh, thing of eucalyptus here, which I'm gonna set aside, and then this other greenery, which would be pretty to lighten that up, but we're gonna set this aside because if we need it, we'll use it. Okay, so I'm gonna start here at the beginning. I like this flower right here. Let me grab what is the main garland uh, plastic the little that's going down like that rather than grabbing onto the little stems that are coming off of it I'm gonna grab right about right there so I thought I'd just hot glue that in but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wire it in all right so here I have some uh, greenery wire so I'm just gonna cut off little pieces we'll see how many I need um, I will use a little bit of my hot glue gun as well so this is all basically you're gonna do is just cut yourself some little pieces of wire ahead of time and then grab whatever flower uh, you want to put on there. And I always bend it because I, I, want, I want the flower to be facing upward. And then this stem is going to get wired down onto the garland stem right here. So all I'm going to do is just wire down. It's 
best as I can. And then if you want, you can even go with some floral tape and wrap that around to hide the wire. But I think that I have enough items here that I can add on here so that I can, it'll hide the wire, so we'll see. Okay, so once I've got it on there, there's some little bits here where some other stems were missing from, so I'm just gonna trim those off so I can wire it properly here. And then make sure the end that I started with is also uh, wrapped around. So there's one flower already on there. That looks, that looks pretty. See how things come off? We're gonna glue those back in. Okay, so I got one flower on there. And then I think like maybe some little white flowers coming off from either side of it would be nice. So here's where I can hot glue. I'm just gonna trim off the little bulky bit right there and add some hot glue. And then I'll just glue it to where I wired the rows. Just glue it down. I'll take another one. Let's see. Trim that off. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do as you go along. I'm gonna add more glue here and there to make sure this glues down nicely. And I'm making sure that I'm gluing it onto the, uh, the garland here. Because up here is the rose is not wired on. So I'm just gonna do that. And then just make sure it kind of lays on top of the other greenery. And then I'll just keep doing that. I'm gonna grab some of the leaves. Let's grab like that. Add some glue. And then I'm gonna put this one coming out this way, and that'll hide, you know, the wire and such that is under there see that's how we're gonna we're gonna cover that up i'm gonna bring this little stem over on top because it's kind of in the way there we go now we can redirect this and it never doesn't want to stay in place grab a little bit of hot glue and stick it which is what i'm going to do there we go okay so I have added that, let me bend the rows a little bit more. There we go. I don't want to get hidden by, you know, other items. So we want to make sure we can see the rows in front of us like that, okay? Like that. Okay, so I'll just keep adding it um, as I go along. I'm going to trim the little eucalyptus also. And I'm trying to do this kind of um, randomly. Don't, you know, I only have one of these flowers left. So obviously I'm gonna be able to put another one in there, but because, uh, let me go ahead and take this off of here because it keeps wanting to come off. We're gonna glue those back in. Okay, so what I want you to do is, or what I'm gonna do is just place flowers, like do another cluster right here, and then I'll do another one at the end. And then I will do clusters around these flowers as well, like I did to this one. And then I'll come back and if I have to, I'll add some more. And then I'll glue in all these little stray pieces that have come off. I'll glue them back in. I'll do that right now with this one. Just put plenty of glue on it and then lift things out of the way. Push them in, in there so that they're glued onto something. And then whatever you moved out of the way, put it back so it hides where you glued it. And everything will be fine. Look at how pretty that already looks right there in the beginning. Look at that. So simple, we don't have to put too much. We're gonna go ahead and wire this one down and I'm gonna wire that one down as well. And I'll be back and I will have put some more of these little flowers. This is gonna be super easy to do. All right, so I've already secured the flowers and so I've been adding uh, some of these uh, greenery bits into my garland here. I think it looks really pretty. And I have a few more little bits here, so I'm gonna go ahead and add as much as I've got here. I was thinking I probably should have secured the garland to my um, wall hanging first and then put all these flowers. But then I mean, if, you, if I take it off and then I wanna use it on something else, it's gonna have all the flowers on it. So I might as well struggle <laughs> now putting it on there. Okay, let's get some of these little flowers to give it a little more highlight over on this other areas. 
of our garland. This is basically the end, so I don't want to have any more hanging off of this, this end over here. So, I think it looks so pretty. I'm going to put this one over here to fill in this little area. Oh, I've got one more. So then maybe this one, we can have it. Kind of in here. Goes on a little bit to one of the leaves here. That helps hold it in place. Okay, so then I've got the greenery that had uh, fallen off. So I'm just gonna glue it down somewhere. And I'm gonna go right in here because I see like a little bare spot and I just wanna fill that in. Maybe another one right in here. I wanna reach in some little sections so I can wire it down to the, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one out of the way. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, tie it down to the wall decor and then we'll see what else we wanna put on it. All right, so here I have my wall decor and um, I have it upside down and I know that I want it to have this on the left of it. So this is the left of it now. So I wanna put it right here and just figure out, okay, where is it gonna fit? Okay, so I'm gonna take my floral wire again and I'm gonna get some long pieces because the, um, the rod that it has here is kind of thick. So I don't know exactly how much I'll need, but I'll just cut some longer than what I think I might need. I'm gonna cut probably, yeah, let's do three pieces so we can wire it up on each end and then in the center, okay. Let's go ahead and decide. I like it right there, so I'm gonna grab, I'm just gonna slide this, you know, over the, you know, the garland. I'm just gonna slide the wire over it and around also on the, uh, um, what is this, the little pole. I had said it earlier, <laughs> now I can't think of what to call it. Or the dowel, we'll just say the dowel. How is that, the post that we're using here. This wooden one here, just bring it around like that. And then I'm gonna wrap it up nice and tight, but I wanna wrap it up towards the garland up here. I don't want any ends of the wire, you know, back here, because it could scratch the wall once I hang it. So I'm making sure I bring these ends forward. And then I'm just gonna curl them in. I don't wanna cut them too short, because if I do wanna remove it, I wanna be able to see where the ends are and where I can remove it from. Okay, now I'm gonna secure it from this end and then I'll do the other end, and that will be it. Again, just sliding it in there over the garland, and then over the post, and bringing it up forward, tight as tight as you can, and that's it. I'll be back once it's all done. All right, so now I've already secured the garland onto the uh, wall hanging here. It's not gonna come off. Uh, if I ever wanna take it off, I can just go behind here. I can either snip the wires with the wire cutters or untwist them and, you know, reuse those little bits if I need to. But I mean, you know, just cut them off. All right, so now that I've already wired it down, I've had, a, you know, a couple of leaves here that I decided I wanna place in there. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah, just a few more leaves. Let's put one under this rose here so we know that it's we can see it when it's you know because it matches the macrame and we want to be able to spot it in there i think that's good enough okay so now i've got some some shells including this um sand dollar and i used one of these in another arrangement so i want to put it in here as well kind of want to just stick it right there in the middle so i'm going to go ahead and glue it down and hopefully it stays does it fall off? I'm, I'm scared that that will happen. So I'm gonna put lots of glue in the back here. Glue this leaf down really good onto the garland, to other pieces of the garland so that leaf is flat and doesn't move around. Let's put some more right here and attach it to one of these little branches. Okay, 
So now we can go ahead and put lots of glue, and I believe it goes down like this. This one is upward. So put lots of glue right here where I know it's going to attach where the uh, garland, the main part of the garland is. And a little glue might fall onto the, um, you know, the dowel, the wood dowel. And I'm okay with that because that'll help secure this a little bit better. Test it out, it keeps coming off. Of course it's not dry, so let me go ahead and give it some time to dry. And if you don't see it in the end, it's because it didn't work out, so it was too much. I feel like this one might be too much as well. So I'm just gonna use these smaller little shells. Just, just to decorate here and there. I don't wanna put any, this flower's too big, so I don't wanna put anything around it. So I'm just gonna add a couple here and there. If it doesn't work out, I'll end up putting this blue in there, but we'll see. And then when you make, create yours, you know, depending on the style you wanna use, if you wanna put a sand dollar, maybe get something a little bit lighter. These are kinda heavy, these little sand dollars. And I'm trying to remember where I got these from. I may have gotten them at Walmart, I may have gotten them at a store called At Home. So it doesn't say here where I got it. I don't recall you guys. But you can find stuff like that at Hobby Lobby as well, or Michael's. Even if, I think a Dollar Tree might have some shells. Well, they will have some shells, but I don't know if they'll have a sand dollar. But you might want to look there. Okay. All right, everyone, so I have finally put it all together, and I really like the way it came out. Super simple, very relaxing to put this together. Of course, the macrame wall art was already made, so all I had to do was create a little garland to put on there. Now, the idea for making the little garland could be used for many things, even for some uh, candle rings. So there you go, super easy. I hope that you really enjoyed this. This is my beach inspired, and by beach inspired, I used colors that I see at my beach here at South Pider Island. So that is what inspired me. So it's obviously not a very beach themey decor that I'm gonna be doing in my living room. It's a little boho, a little country, a little beach. <laughs> so that's it, everyone. I hope that you do, it, did enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And hit that red button down at the bottom of the video. And subscribe. And also hit the notification bell. And choose all so that you can notify it as soon as I upload a video. So I hope you're enjoying this series of beach inspired crafts and then I'll be decorating my living room when I am done making all the items. And uh, so there we go everyone. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you for watching and as always, enjoy.